you know that this Rolls Royce was driven by one of the most famous people in the world? Can you guess where I am? This is not just a museum. We are in Louisville Downtown's internationally renowned Muhammad Ali Center. Annie Moore, I work at the Muhammad Ali Center as our senior marketing manager and spokesperson. We're actually right next to one of Muhammad's favorite places overlooking the Ohio River. The Ali Center puts the world spotlight not only on the Louisville Lips boxing prowess and championships, but also on our hometown hero's legacy of pursuing a just and compassionate world. Where we're standing, if you were looking across Indiana before the Emancipation Proclamation, you would be looking at freedom. I think Louisville was formative to his experience, not only with the good stuff, but experiencing issues in the Jim Crow South. And Louisville formed him through his experiences in youth, and this was always his home base. He wanted to be laid to rest here, and he wanted the center to be here. Every year around the anniversary of his passing, we celebrate that with Ali Festival, and it is exactly that in spirit. It is a community carnival where last year we hosted almost 4,000 people for free. It is concerts and lectures, and a week of community and giving back to the city of Louisville. I'm the greatest thing that ever lived. I don't have a mark on my face, yeah. and I upset Sonny Liston, and I just turned 22 years old. I must be the greatest. Now, I told the world, I talk to God every day. If God's with me, can't nobody be against me. Sonny, shut up the world. Muhammad Ali wasn't lying when he said he shook up the world. The Ali Center truly is the greatest. <laughs>